Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button, also subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. We working. Thank you for the donations and the members of Patreon. A lot going on, man. Now, I had to make a follow-up video. I was on my way out when I did the last video. It's regarding Lomachenko's next fight. Now, Eagle Rumor Mill came through yet again. Called the fight before it was like announced on a lot of major websites and people were talking about it. But still, Lomachenko's fighting Miguel Madiaga. Lomachenko himself, a former featherweight, but he has had multiple fights in the new division at 130. And he's a champion there, WBO. He's fighting a guy coming off a loss where he was knocked down. That loss was to Oscar Valdez at 126. Now, now Miguel Mariaga is moving up in weight, challenging high tech, the Matrix. And I'm telling you guys, this, this doesn't go away. I told you guys in January, tell the truth, tell the truth. And you see it. There will be writers, channels, Facebook pages. You will not last in this game if you're not being truthful with the fans. Like, this is not even anything to do if you get a fight prediction wrong. Anybody can get, everyone gets fight predictions wrong. Not stuff like that. But I'm saying, when stuff is staring you in the face, if it was a snake, it would have bit me. When I used to work retail, I had a customer said that. He was looking for something. He was like, hey, where are this? And I pointed, I was like, it's right there, right behind you. And he's like, oh, if it was a snake, it would have bit me. And that's what it is in boxing. These people see stuff and I, I know all the tactics. I've been doing this long enough. They see what I'm talking about, but instead of and I'm gonna get I'm gonna, I'm gonna have some fun with this. Instead of breaking down what's being said intelligently and rebuttaling it, like Vasil Lomachenko versus a guy who's moving up in weight, coming off a loss, when you're considered a pound for pound talent. Now I don't agree. HBO has him placed at number one. I don't think he could supersede Ward, and there's a lot of guys, Terence Crawford, even Canelo Golovkin. Not based on technique or skill, but based on being premature. He has less than 10 fights. And even if I use HBO's logic and place him at pay, pound for pound number one, why are you fighting Miguel Mariaga? Again, Do you, in your heart of all hearts, do you believe people would be mad at Andre Ward, a fighter who's, who's ranked as pound for pound number one amongst a lot of fans? If he fought Jean Pascal coming off of his loss to Elite Alvarez, would Andre Ward get flack for that? And the answer is yes, by and large, he would. Even though he moved up in weight recently, Pascal has more fights at 75, unlike Miguel Mariaga doesn't have more fights at 130 than Lomachenko does. He's not a champion. You know what I mean? Pascal is a former champion in that division, but people wouldn't care. They would see, oh, Ward, I thought you're pound for pound. Why are you fighting the guy off a loss? Point blank period. People did not even want to accept the number one previous pound for pound, Floyd Mayweather fighting Andre Berto, a two- time world champion who's younger than Floyd, maybe even faster, probably hits harder per capita, you know what I mean, just straight shots, bow, at welterweight, right? And they were mad at that, but now those same people, they don't want to have any gripes about Lomachenko's upcoming fight, and I, I think it's fair, especially when Rigondeaux could have been an option, maybe a Gary Russell rematch, maybe a Salido rematch, and I'm sure fans would prefer, and again, I know all the tricks. Oh, Ego, you're racist. But look at these comments. I didn't put these cherries. So if it, it, you can't, it's no longer can you just relegate it. Oh, someone mentioned me. Try telling you, Boxy Ego, the comment section is real when it comes to Duck and Rigo. See? That's what I'm saying. They, they, they're on Lomachenko's page mentioning me. You know what I mean? Telling me. And look, Rigo, Rigo, Rigo. So the those tired excuses are no longer. You can't say, oh, Rigo, now's boring. No one wants to see it. Because why are people screaming, fight Rigo now, Rigo now? in his comment section and putting all these cherries and stuff. Fight Rigo, cherries, HBO cherries. It's not a good look. And again, I have a backbone and I, I firmly believe you should stand up for what you believe in. And I didn't create this. It's just like people want to get mad. Oh, Ego, you're racist. All right, if that's what you feel, fine, cool. Now, we'll explain all these people who are saying the same thing that I'm saying and putting cherries. They're going above me on. I don't even do that. You know what I mean? Believe in yourself and take a real fight, you pussy. Fight Rigo and stop being a coward. So, again, I told you, new media. We were going to come in and overthrow the existing government you got. And all that other bullshit. 
we were coming. New media. Boxing fans aren't, aren't putting up with that stuff no more. You know what I mean? If we want to see good fights, not every fight is going to be a, a mega fight. But in the same vein, Lomachenko, he has a young career. Like, he has a lot of amateur experience. But as a pro, his career is fairly young. Less than 10 fights. And he just fought Jason Sosa. Took literally no damage in that fight. That I remember. I mean, he actually he got hit to a body and he reacted. But he masked it well. And then he went to proceed to thoroughly beat Jason Sosa. So overall, in its totality, he didn't really take no... And then you got a guy like Rigano, stop ducking Rigano. Look, cherry picking piece of shit, low tech home. Wow, you guys are going in. You know what I'm saying? Look, cherries. So, again, this is not. <laughs> I got a backbone, so I don't care, y'all. Oh, you hate Lomachenko, you're racist. Okay, so explain all these people. You think everyone's just racist? See, you gotta, you gotta make it make sense. And you and your heart of all hearts, y'all know what it is. Y'all know that what i'm saying is true you just don't want to admit it because you, you fans treat this like some gangbanger bloods and crips you know what i mean even if if you're a crip and the blood fought you and got the best of you you're not going to admit it you know what i mean you're going to be like oh no it was a sucker punch i got jumped when you're telling your homies because you don't want to just admit what you're seeing but like i said lomachenko he's a top talent but with that territory of pound for pound status people are going to ask certain things of you you know what i mean and you you got too many people who, who want to see the fight reagan now he's still talking about it it's just it's ugly i told you tell the truth tell the truth reagan now just posted this three hours ago true feelings and he, he showed his tweet i expected frog hospital i don't know what that is i don't know if that's supposed to be leo santa cruz but it says, I expected this to duck me, dude, as a hype job. However, when Carl Frampton and Lomachenko ducked me, that one hurt. I thought they were warriors. You know what I'm saying? So he's rejoicing, and he's he's pretty much poking fun. And you can't really... What are you, you going to say? Oh, he doesn't really want to fight. But I, I read articles and headlines on Instagram and stuff that said Salito didn't take the Lomachenko rematch for 750000 or whatever it was. But i never seen no article that said Guillermo Rigondeaux turned down $750,000. Did you guys even try to offer him that? You know what I mean? Because I haven't seen anything. I haven't heard anybody. The only thing I heard is Salido. And then even with the Salido, that's a better fight than Miguel Mariaga. And the thing you have to understand is, there. I said this before, sometimes you have to compromise. The guy has something you want, some get back. He beat you, and you can say dirty and all this, but you lost to him. On your record, Lomachenko lost to him. Those are facts. You can't deny that. So the only way you can get that back is by beating him, and you even the score, right? And even if you, especially if you beat him better, like if Lomachenko stops Salido, that would be great for his career. So, you know what I mean? Maybe you have to pay him a little bit more than that even. But you nowadays you got you got boxing fans who are, a lot of them are fake, and they want to they want to put the price on. I can't put a price because this is at the end of the day these guys are lacing them up. I can give my perspective on what I think a fighter should get or what's fair and stuff like that. But I mean, if Salido, he's a warrior. Every single fight, he definitely is risking his life. And I'm not like throwing shade. I'm saying just because he's such a warrior, he he lays it out on the line every single time. That's his style. He's not like sweet in there with defense and ha, ha, da, ha, ha. He's not doing nothing cute like Floyd or Canelo even. Like with the defense, like ha, 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 ha. And, and you know what I mean? He's not doing that stuff. So he's he's at you. He's mad aggressive. And he's coming for his dirty, not, whatever. If you get your nose broke like Mikey R.C. in the process, he's coming. That's how he fights. But you don't want to pay the man like that. But I thought that's the style that HBO loves. You know what I mean? Why can't you... Make a GoFundMe account or do whatever you have to do to pay Salido what he's asking for. Because, I mean, there has to be a limit. I, I doubt Salido is going to be like, I'm not taking the Lomachenko fight for anything less than $20 million. I mean, because that would be stupid. And I haven't heard anything from Team Salido that said they wanted anything that much. But they know Lomachenko is a good fighter and they know they have something he wants. So maybe Lomachenko has to take the short end of the stick to get that back you know what i mean roy jones jr watch his post fight after he rematched montel griffin and he said i didn't want to, have to do this but y'all made me 
And he's like, what do you mean you didn't want to have to do this? He said, he said, y'all knew what happened the first fight. I don't want to do this because I didn't want to have to go with my bag of tricks and bring the old RJ because I don't like bringing the old job because I would have killed that boy by mistake. You know what I mean? And he was basically ranting after he knocked out Montel Griffin. He got disqualified in the first fight and he was showing like, I can't have that. I can't have it. I got to get him back. Like, you know what I mean? He was just basically in his, in his feelings talking about like, I can't have no guy out here saying he going to beat me. And he, he, he got disqualified. He said, I had to set the record straight. So that should be the motivation for all fighters. If you're competitive, Andre Ward. I can't have, he, he's like, I can't have that. I can't have people saying SOG lost to Kovalev. We go back to the drawing board. We have our training camp. And then we stop Kovalev, which he did. His team called it. They said, we're going for the knockout. If it comes, it comes. If not, we're going to make this decisive. You can bring up Tony Weeks. I don't give a fuck if it's Tony Months. Kovalev was gassed. You know what I mean? There's no savior from that. So, for Lomachenko Salido, I think he should be in the same mindset. Maybe you have to... Maybe, okay, let's say Lomachenko's paycheck, they offer Salido... Hypothetically, I'm just throwing out numbers. Let's say they offer Salido 750000 and offer Lomachenko six fifty. Okay, drop Lomachenko's pay since... He, he makes a good amount of money, gets a good amount of exposure. He's talented. Drop it from six fifty to five hundred thousand, and then add the hundred and fifty thousand to Salidos, and that's going to push him closer to a million. If you guys know anything about math, so seven fifty plus the one fifty. Now you're pushing him court closer to a million. The guy who's been fighting since he was fifteen has a style that you say you guys like. You know what I mean? The action style. Come forward, leave it all in the ring, and a lot of you guys want to like when. <laughs> It's a lot of people hate PBC, so when it comes to fight of the year, they don't want to really reference a PBC. Even though last year we had Richard Comey versus Robert Easter Jr., fight of the year candidate. Keith Thurman versus Sean Porter, definite fight of the year candidate. Leo Santa Cruz, Carl Frampton won, definite fight of the year candidate. And then you had Francisco Vargas versus Orlando Salido. And you know what I mean? You would have a lot of these casuals who, I'm not saying if you like that fight, you are automatically casual, but I know how the game goes. A lot of people don't like PBC, so those other fights were on the PBC, so they don't want to give credit to those fights as being the fight of the year because they don't want to keep it real. So they'll say, you know what? My favorite fight of the whole year was, I think, Francisco Vargas versus Orlando Salido. That's the best fight of the year, right? But now when it comes time to Salido getting paid, you want to blast out. He didn't want to accept 750000 or 700000 and change. He didn't want to accept that. But this man just put on... See, this is, these guys don't think... These guys don't think the whole thing through. They just... They go on a limb and say these things, but then it comes back to haunt them. Like I said, okay, out of all the great fights of 2016, Orlando Salido and Francisco Vargas was your favorite, right? A lot of you guys say, oh, that, that's my fight of the year because you don't... We know what it is. You don't want to give... PBC credit and the other fight of the years were mostly on the PBC side, but okay, cool. So he's participating in the fight of the year candidate with Francisco Vargas, which was an action fight back and forth. I thought it got kind of mindless and sloppy, but it was action, right? Through the 12 rounds. But now all of a sudden, when it comes to another fighter you like, like Lomachenko, you're, you're now you flip on Salido. So the guy that gave you fight of the year entertainment nonstop on the Mayweather undercar against Rocky Martinez, against Francisco Vargas, against everybody. Mikey Garcia, always in the exciting fight. Now you don't want to pay him. Now you don't want to make any constellations. You don't want to take some money off of what Lomachenko is going to get. Like, and why would you care what Lomachenko is going to get or Salido? And the reason I care is like, I'm a reporter. I'm just telling you my truest thoughts. I ignore, I really wouldn't care. I just want to see the fight. But what I'm saying to you is if Salido wants more money, and he has something that you want. Maybe that's a constellation that you have to take. Maybe you have to drop your pay scale down to 500K, even though you feel you're the A side or you've improved or whatever, and give the man what he wants so you could beat his ass, clear that up, and move on with your career, and then go back to saying, I'm high tech, I'm Matrix, and that's that. I mean, it's it's very simple. And and Salido's just one person. That would have been a better fight, rigging down, right? And see, look, Loma Duck Rigo. I am sorry, Dark. We can't fight according to George Lucas. It is not good for business, but Loma, I am your father. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Loma Duck me. It's crazy. You got this man rejoicing and clowning you, right? And you're fighting Miguel Mariaga. So it's just whether you want to say it's a duck or not, I guess that's up for debate, but. What I do know for certain 
is it doesn't look well. It doesn't look good for Loma to be fighting someone who's coming up in weight and he's off of a loss with a knockdown. And he lost to another guy, Lomachenko beat. I don't believe in triangle theories, but that's something you have to know. Nicholas Walters decisively beat him. Hence, I think it was a unanimous decision. I, I don't know. I don't remember. It might have been a split, but I thought it was a unanimous decision. But I thought it was a pretty convincing win, especially since I know that Mariaga had beaten Nicholas Walters. I thought he, he patched that up well and showed his, his improvement. So it's just not looking good because people don't want to be honest and, and be truthful. You could have went the Salido route. You could have went the Rigondeaux route, etc. You know what I mean? And you're, you're fighting a featherweight, a division you've already left, and you're a champion. So whether you think it's a duck or not, bottom line is it doesn't look good. And I had to keep expanding on it, and I will keep expanding. Like I said, I got a backbone, so I don't care what people say in the comment section. You know what I mean? Oh, you're racist and stuff like that. Because the funny thing is, if that's what you feel, cool. But you're not explaining it. I have tons of videos up. You should be able to make an easy compilation and I'm off the air. Like, damn, we just proved that Ego's racist. That would be a major headline. Go for it. Put together that video that shows me. I'll wait. You know what I'm saying? I want to watch it. I should be off the air in no time. You know what I mean? I've never been not granted an interview or someone rejected answering my question because I'm a known racist. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you guys can say all that dumb stuff like the, the money don't stop. The, the channel keeps growing. So, I mean, uh, that other dumb stuff. Oh, you get mad at something. I say, you're a gay man. Okay, I'm gay. What else? You know what I mean? That's, that type of stuff doesn't hurt me. But one thing they don't do, and this is what new media is here for, is we expose the reality. You know what I mean? And the one thing they don't do is tell me how Miguel Mariaga deserves a fight more than Rigondeau or a Salido clarification match right that's what they don't tell you and this is the last point i'll leave with the reason i know for a fact that a lot of you guys who just bump your gums in comment section are full of shit is because all every time it's these fights like pacquiao versus jeff horn top rank or let's say lomachenko versus miguel mariaga right every single time you try to justify the fight, which end up making you look crazy. Like it's one thing if you're like Lomachenko is my favorite fighter, but I'm not really fancying this fight. I'll wait for the next one. That's cool. But the the fact that you're going out of your way to make it look like this was the excellent fight that everybody should be looking forward to, and it's a 50-50 fight, you just look crazy. And the reason I know you're full of shit is because if it's really and truly a great fight for boxing and a, a fight, then you'll heard you will have heard the demand. Like look at the heavyweights. I've heard the top players match with each other, and people have talked about it. I heard people say, I want to see Deontay Wilder versus Anthony Joshua. I want to see Joshua versus Tyson Fury. I want to see Wilder versus Tyson Fury, or Luis King Kong and Joshua, or King Kong and Wilder, etc. Mix and match all those names. I've got it on Monday Mail Days. I've seen people on my homepage made videos about these fights and Wilder, Joshua, can it happen? Yeah, you know what I mean? But I've not heard one person say that Lomachenko, before the fight was announced, Lomachenko versus M Miguel Mariaga is the fucking fight I want. I've been, I, man, I'll sell my soul to see. I didn't see no one saying that. That's why I know you're full of shit. Just like Pacquiao, Jeff Horn, all the welterweights, people who wanted to see Pacquiao Broner, Pacquiao Danny Garcia, Pacquiao Amir Khan, Pacquiao Floyd Mayweather 2, Pacquiao Errol Spence, Pacquiao Sean Porter, right? Pacquiao Maidana. But I ain't never heard somebody say, I want to see Pacquiao, Jeff Horn, until maybe after it got announced. And they're like, hey, it's not bad. Jeff Horn's undefeated. Da, da, da. No. We know you're lying. You're lying. Stop it. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. Nobody was checking for Lomachenko versus Miguel Mariaga. It, again, show me a, a timestamp video before two days ago when the fight was announced that somebody says you know what the fight i'm looking forward to lomachenko versus miguel mariaga i want him to come up and wait off of a loss in april of 2017 and fight one of the best fighters that's in the sport right now lomachenko because that's what i want to see and then as far as the people no matter what way the walls are closing in because even if you say it's a tune-up fight jason sosa was kind of a tune-up fight no one really expected jason sosa to win he doesn't even have this alito style and it, like, cause I've seen it. I've seen him like when he's he's in there with like Nicholas Walters. He's aggressive, but he's also not overly aggressive. Salida, he fights like James Kirkland kind of. 
Like I'm willing to get knocked out in there if that's what it takes to make you uncomfortable. Or Madonna. That's that's kind of how he fights. Jason Sosa didn't really show me that. Nicholas Walters damn sure didn't show that when he quit. You know what I mean? And he was off a long layoff and stuff. So, I mean, we just got to get back to good boxing and holding the promoters, the fights, and the fighters to the standard. If you bash Floyd for being number one pound for pound fighting Berto after Pacquiao and 20 years in the sport, then why would you be okay with this? Explain to me what you like about the fight. Don't say, oh, ego, you're racist. Okay, we get that. So that's what you feel. Cool. Now explain how this is a good fight. And they won't do it. So new media, you guys are getting shut down. It's looking horrible. You're lying. Tell the truth. Let me know what you guys think. Drop it in the comment section. Make sure you share the video. Like the video as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off.